We're in crazy land. It's like, I'm not crazy. Everyone else is gaslit. They got roofied by Freya, and Freya crashed out. She said, I'm not sorry. I'm about to wild out. Every one of you, it is what it is. And then, boom, mass hypnosis. Hestia, Asphi and Rio are out. Hermes, I don't know. He said, you know, Devil, give me the letter to Hestia when the time is right. So they're kind of good for now, but everyone else is like, Bell, Bell, what the fuck? Hestia family? No, you are part of Freya family. And it's crazy how Freya just expects Bell to like accept it. Like, what's the expectation? You think Bell is just gonna accept reality and just like give in? I don't think anything good can happen from here on out. What's going to save us? I think that there's potential after watching the Anu's cut content. You know, how Otaru and, you know, the, some of the other members of Freya's, like, elites may realize that this is actually not too good. And, you know, something about Freya's, there's something wrong there. Horn also, I'm not really sure where she is right now, but at the end of the day, she didn't want Freya to, like, corrupt herself by, you know, lowering her standards to, like, the mortal realm. So maybe there can be something from the within that can help us out. But Hestia, I think, will be very clutch. Something about her divinity, right? Something about her hearth. I'm not sure what they're planning there, but she counters Freya. Let's begin today's reaction. I have false memories? Nah, this doctor's crazy too. Again, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Everyone is gaslighting me, but I know that I'm sane. Freya! Dude, is he actually gonna get gaslit to the point he accepts reality? There's no way. Yeah, bro, you're crazy. Bell, you're crazy, bro. Hey. Dea Saint mentioned. Best healer. What? You can erase them? No, 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 no. I don't like this. Let's get the fuck out of here. I love her design though, but I don't. Nope, nope. We gotta get out of here. Oh, damn. No, you're you, you crazy. Every one of you're crazy. You fucking just take your crazy pills. Like we're being gaslit, and 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 the the brothers, the quadruplets. I thought that last episode that we were aware that they're in on it. Maybe not everybody of Freya family, but like Otara, Hedni, and everyone else. They're aware of what's happening, right? But based on the quadruplets saying like, oh no, it's actually worse than I thought. The fuck is that? Are they also just playing along? Just to, you know, try to erase bells and memories? They know what's going on, right? Distorted city. Uh oh. That's right. You lost a bet. What? We're swap? Okay, the Xenos and they should be good. Okay. Leftover people in the dungeon who was not, you know, there when Freya was gaslighting everybody. And I don't think the Xenos will show for this. Outside a city, people who were in dungeons. What'd you do? That's what she was doing down there? I don't know. She, she, she was doing something with like some kind of potion stuff here, but okay. Yes, ma'am. Ah, you're chill. That was crazy. Ooh. She wants to be punished, but she can't be punished. Okay. I wonder what it means that she wants to be punished. Maybe that's just how her personality trait is after making a mistake, or maybe this has more to do with like her emotions overlapping with Freya's shit, and I don't know, but I feel like she's gonna be an important piece if she still has the goal of like trying to prevent Freya from like being corrupted by getting herself meddling with mortals, like, uh, you never know. Hestia, what's the game plan? Poor Bell. Yo, are you normal or what? 
Okay, so he is charmed. But he did say, when the time is right, give me the letter that he gave us. So like, not yet. When's the time though? Okay. Not now, not now. Among us. Sassy. Ice? Yeah, that's is our training spot. Bell and Ice. It's their spot. <laughs> but then what's it? Ice, are you charmed? She is. So even if you're charmed, like the subconscious memories, it's like interfering. So she longs for this place because of Bell, but she doesn't know why. Okay. Gaslit. You never know. That could really mind break him. That's some serious shit. Triggered. Freya. But is it Horn? Okay, yeah. The super important guy. Then the Zeno shit. <laughs> Freya, you cannot charm me. In my old age, my dick is limp. And I will not be deceived by a thought like you. Own him, bro. No. I mean, then again, your ass is always fucking sitting here saying some weird prophetical shit and never really helping us out. So, all right, you get benched this arc. Oh. Okay, that's not too bad. That's super important. Black dragon stuff, bro. Okay, so they're gonna really just go in and grind. That's a pretty good deal. The Machia. Very, very important terms. Machia. Exploring all the unknown floors and laying the groundwork to defeat the black dragon. I'll get it all done for you. The Machia. I don't know, important. But, I can't really do shit here. Alright. Fucking Oranos. Uh, the eyes are purple, yeah. With the pendant bell. This motherfucker, is he actually gonna ever do something? He's so important, but he can never leave here. He's, he just sits on this chair and it's just like, motherfucker, help us out. But a lot of reasons. Maybe one day he'll stand up and do shit. Alright, it's up to Bell again. Still haven't seen an Argo Vesta this season. That's actually crazy that the tavern is called the Hostess of Fertility. I never knew the tavern name because season one content again, I very, I rarely remember. I, I loosely watched it, but Hostess of Fertility. <laughs> it was there all in front of us, bro. The fucking tavern. Did Freya name that shit? Why would you name a Hostess of Fertility? That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, damn, she switched outfits for us. Hello. Yo. Uh, us? Us? <laughs> Gaslighting me. Yes, of course. Yeah? How long ago was that? Yeah, show me some picture books. The back stuff. Huh? The needle? Wait, the conversion hasn't happened though, right? That's the whole point why she just kind of did this all, all this proactive shit. Like, are you, are you allowed to do this? Can you actually do this? Hmm? Is she just gonna write shit on her back and act like stuff is being updated and just gaslight us like that too? I don't know if Belle's able to figure that out. Like, I don't know what's like, I don't know. <laughs> she could just go around and be like, doo -doo, doo -doo. yep, everything is good. And he wouldn't know. Like usual. Okay. She gonna do it. Is it working? 
Wait, wait. What was that? <laughs> Vitality got a good boost. Hmm, does it stamina in bed? I don't know. What did she do there? Um, so we had to bring the needle. I feel like this needle's fraudulent. Is there something else going on? Maybe it also has to do with the vial of potion that she showed us when talking about like the 18th floor or something, or Rivita or something. I feel like something about the needle's fraudulent. Something about the doctor here is fraudulent. Nah, 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 this is fake. She did something. She did something, bro. Lies. And that little pink charm there at the paper thing, bro. Yeah. Oh, I like, could she not just fucking... <laughs> what about this part? Can't she just fucking print a random bullshit number list? Even though we did see the numbers kind of fluctuate stuff? I don't know. I don't trust this shit. Yeah. Oh god. Fake. I call fake. Yes. <laughs> that face is demonic. I wonder if this is like an iconic panel from like the light novel, but because this art is crazy. Look at the way she's looking at us. She's a fucking predator. The potion thing. Mm, this wench. What a convenient thing that just works for us in this scenario. You're gonna warm me up, mommy? You want to bring back past memories? Okay. ね、わたしは否定しない。わたしにとって大事なのはあなたの今とこれからだ。車はいつも通り他の子供たちと丹田を積んでちょうだ。いや、ウォーター。ウォービーモーアグルームジリ。怒り。ベイスクリーエブリ
Fire, fire wall, fire wall. Are all trusty. Good old reliable firebolt. And Bella is the last one standing. Damn, Van, you're a fucking fraud. You came swinging, you know, cheap shots. Other dudes are getting up on Bell. Bell's the last person standing. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> Oh shit, the quadruplets. Oh, Everyone's here. My true Christ name? <laughs> the fuck? And I'm gonna get resurrected? Oh, the guild girl. She was the one very obsessed with Bell before. Conspiracy. Yo, they're gonna start figuring it out. She loves Bell so much. for a moment like this to happen. Now you're gonna sift through the paper and find something related to Belle and it's gonna relit some memory. What's going on? Where is it? There's a book. What is it? Oh, some receipts. Uh-oh. Oh no. Ah, yo, this is scary because everyone is basically against us. So she's gonna get suspended. They're all gonna snitch. They're gonna jump on her. You gotta be quiet about this. All her words. Season 1 content, I think. Yeah, the Firebolt episode. Bro, this shit nine years ago, almost a decade ago. Another one on site. You chose to type that. You chose to type that message as the first message, despite being warned of what happens when you ask or when shit's gonna be happening. I don't feel bad about this. Goodbye. And going back to this. Oh, no, 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 no. I think like there must be like if you're charmed does she have surveillance on everybody how could she just show up like this unless she got tipped off by somebody right so like if you're charmed maybe some other dudes can like since like telepathically communicate something's off and she just shows up like this is this a coincidence that's crazy <laughs> That's how strong the connection with Bell is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking hide it from the public. Oh. Oh, I'm scared. Dude, this is scary. Basically, at any moment, it's Freya is listening. That's some fucking scary shit, bro. Freya is listening. Freya is looking over you. Watch out. Huh? Can't argue. <sighs> that charm is so, so OP. Doesn't even remember, bro. Doesn't even remember after. <laughs> Holy shit, we're still training all day. So, what, what? why aren't you fighting amongst yourselves? You fucking cowards. This is supposed to be a battle to the death. But you're all ganging up on Bella just to fuck it. Maybe this is their way of like, like, because again, these are the most cucked kids of all the gods and goddesses. I truly believe that the Freya family elites, these are the most cucked people. And therefore they're, they're like, it's like they're a stress relief. Every day they get to fucking just, you know, release all that fucking pent up frustration onto Bell. But I'm sure beyond just the jokes, like it's to break him down and for Freya to, you know, then build him back up, right? Physically, mentally, all that. But, uh, I don't know. Like, will he get stronger in the future for this? He's not going to get levels, right? Because you need to cunt, like, uh, dungeon monsters for EXP, right? But this could be, like, uh, I don't know. Like, proficiency, just better with skills. <laughs> Fight amongst yourselves. Yeah, every day. Every day. Honestly, that's 
might be even worse. Like, I'm just gonna suffer over and over, and then you're gonna heal me back up. Maybe death is like an easier way out than this suffering. <laughs> She also cooks? She not just healer? Like doctor? Fan. Hey, someone check his ID. He's too young to drink. Mm -hmm. Cucked. Again. Absolutely fucking cucked every one of them. And then they choose to still support her as she chases another man. Also, that's interesting that Otaru wasn't here. I thought Otara would show up and like beat up Bell, but like he's been absent today. What's he doing right now? Where is Otara at? Oh yeah, I bet Mr. Van is old, but like, you know, I just like to make fun of him because of his height. Alright. Yo, you wearing the same shit again! You gotta you gotta change up the nightgown outfit. This is getting boring. Two nights in a row. You gotta do better if you wanna seduce me. Yo. Hmm, Hestia. Yeah, where were you, Freya? Huh? <laughs> Homeless. We were really struggling back then, huh? Yeah, how did we meet, huh? What's the script? Adventurous graveyard. Yeah? Okay. The fuck? You fell in love in a graveyard? What hero was I visiting back then? Like, lore-wise, when did this happen? Did this actually happen? Was this some season one shit again that I don't remember? Hero's graveyard? Who was he here for? I wonder if this has like a bigger meaning to the story of he or Freya is just like actually just making shit up because Freya wants Belle to be like her ODR, the older Odze or something. <笑><笑>おったる。Mentioned。Giga。あなたゴブリンを一匹倒しただけで走り出帰ってきたわね。the goblin? <laughs> she, she fucking threw her homework! She, she reading the book and she's like, Oh, when this happened this day, okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna mention that tonight. Bro, and she didn't have this to be so fraudulent! Yo, that means that the guild girl finding the notebook, if Freya didn't have that, these night talks wouldn't go as well, right? So she really wasn't fucking planning, huh? Like, was she, was, she, was she ever planning it? Because, like, if she didn't have it, what was she gonna do without the fucking book tonight? Yeah, she knows the Fireball episode, too. She actually did her homework, bro. She's studying this shit. Oh, that was a great time. The war game. Huh? I simply crushed upon at the same time as this story. I mean, she did crush Ishtar, but you know, the whole Apollo thing, like everyone helped out together. I remember Ryu with the magic sword, Mikoto was there, Lily was there, you know, you know, you know changing forms and shit. That was a great arc. <laughs> and then you break them. <laughs> Crazy bitch. Alright, just a little bit of mind break every night. You can't do everything, right? We gotta slowly just drip feed him all of these like impossible to refute scenarios because she did the fucking homework with the diaries. Oh my god. Yeah, bitch, you were the same thing last night. You better change the outfit every night or I'm not gonna get seduced. Oh, oh. oh now we're talking. Yo, where the buttons at? <laughs> Why is a slice of life comedy music being played right now? This is hilarious. Like, we so far it was like, I'm gonna break his mind slowly but surely so that he can't depend on anyone but me. Yes, I'm an apex predator. And then now it's just like, hee hee, slice of life time. They should play the like dangerous epic music here and kept the whole serious mood. <laughs> She's blushing, bro. Oh. Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> she planned that one. No, that was the most fucking forced. Ugh. Nah, 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 nah. Look at this. Look at her eye. That demon planned that there. Oh. <laughs> This is actually funny. This is genuinely a fun slice of life moment if we ignore the fact that my man is just basically getting mind broken and gaslit. Like Freya laughing like this. I don't think I've ever heard her really laugh like this. Like maybe some like evil laughs, but this is crazy to see this kind of Freya. <laughs> no man has ever. He defies me. She's having so much fun. You freak got the zoomies right now. What the fuck? I, this is the real Freya. This is the this is the secret Freya when she's all alone. <laughs> Porn. She's so happy. Mm. Gaslit. And that's the episode of Damachi. It just keeps getting better. Every episode is just so, so good. Today's episode showed us pretty much what Freya's, you know, planning. Uh, every night or every day, he's going to be broken physically. And every night, we're going to confront him with all these different logics and facts that happened throughout seasons one to four. Because she's studying the notebook and... As long as Bell continues to get, you know, get drip fed, uh, drip fed these irrefutable claims that he remembers, but Freya is basically kind of like self-inserting herself in there against Hestia, he will, I guess, slowly accept her in due time. I don't think that's gonna happen, but that's her plan. There were some interesting things happening in the beginning with Horn. I still think that maybe Horn, because she wants the best for Freya. And the best for Freya in her mind is like not meddling with like, you know, commoners like Bell. Maybe there's something internal that can help us out. But at this point, I don't know. Every eye is like, everyone is charmed. It's like, treat it like CCTV. This is just like a surveillance state now. Everyone on Radio is, is under the surveillance through the charm. And Freya will just show up out of nowhere. But this last moment of the button stuff, the slice of life stuff, this shit is hilarious to me. This is actually so funny. It, Cause it was so serious and you know like dire at that boom we're just all giggling and laughing and Freya's having a good time, which shows a side that I it really like humanizes her more, right? I thought she was all this cool mysterious girl, but now I get to see you know this side of her blushing and laughing and having fun and giggling. It's just like I don't know anymore, man. Um, at the end of the day, I expect someone from internally to betray. Or maybe Hestia will figure some shit out. But, like, I think this is a great opportunity for Bell to really, like, raise his stats. Because he's been over-leveling, right? And he hasn't really gotten to max out his true proficiency in the different stats, right? That's one of the things mentioned in Season 4 of why Bell is leveling up so fast. But because of that, he's not really able to really fully unlock the potentials of his level. So, this is a great training arc, technically. And mentally, too, maybe. And who knows? Maybe he'll actually finally lose his virginity. Probably not. Not so from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.